Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn how to configure a Cisco router as a DHCP client. And you're maybe thinking, hang on a minute, Neil, you just told me a minute ago that our routers don't get configured as DHCP clients, they get configured with manual IP addresses. And that is typically what will happen. But there is one fairly common exception to that rule. That's where a branch office is connected to the internet, but it hasn't bought any static public IP addresses for that office. That would be because the branch office doesn't contain any publicly available servers that need a fixed public IP address for incoming connections. So the company's decided we're not going to pay for a range of public IP addresses, they are fixed addresses, because we don't need them. In that case, the office is still going to require at least one public IP address to allow the internal hosts outbound connectivity to the internet though. And it's going to use NAT for that, that we spoke about in an earlier lecture. We're going to cover it in more detail in a later section as well. So in that case, you're going to be having just that one public IP address, but you haven't paid for a fixed IP address. So the router is going to need to get that public IP address on its outside interface using DHCP from the internet service provider. The other inside interfaces on the router will have fixed IP addresses. It will just be that outside interface facing the service provider that is going to be a DHCP client. So our configuration to support that is on the outside interface. In our example here, it's interface fast 0 slash 0. We just say IP address DHCP rather than the usual IP address and then the actual IP address. And because it's a router, remember, we have to no shut down the interface. So that's it. Simple configuration to support an interface as a DHCP client. To get information about the DHCP lease, it's show DHCP lease. So in the example here, we can see that we were given IP address 203.0.113.2 by the provider. We can also see the DHCP lease server. That's the server that gave us the IP address, and it is at 203.0.113.1. Okay, so that's how we do the configuration. Very simple. Let's have a look at this in the lab. So I'm running Packet Tracer again here, and I've already configured the service provider router as a DHCP server. The outside interface on R1 is currently unconfigured, so I'm going to configure that as a DHCP client. So I go on to R1 and enable config t to get to global configuration and i'm going to go to interface fast 0 slash 0 ip address dhcp and no shutdown and it will take a minute and then i should see it picking up the ip address and the interface going live in packet tracer i'll know it's happened when both sides of the link go green so I'll just waffle for a second while I wait for that. Actually, let's do a, a show DHCP lease now, see if it's picked up anything yet. And it's 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, so it hasn't got the DHCP address yet. I just saw in Packet Tracer that both sides went green. So if I repeat that show DHCP lease command, I now see, okay, it still hasn't got the IP address. Okay, and there we go. It does take a while, but after a minute or so, I see a log message that the DHCP address was assigned on FAST00. It was given IP address 203.0.113.2. I can do my show DHCP lease again, and I see there's the address 203.0.113.2, which was given by 203.0. 
0.113.1. And if I do a show IP interface brief, I can see that for fast ethernet zero slash zero, the method is DHCP and the address is 203.0.113.2. Okay, so that was it. That's the DHCP section completed. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.